Hey guys, what's up? It's KH93 here, and I'm here with the review for the Danglet by Collins America. Uh, first, I would uh, like to apologize to them because I promised them that I'd make a review within two weeks of getting this product, which was Thursday, and it's Friday. But, um, yeah, the only excuse I have is that I had a lot of homework and I'm sick, if you can hear my voice. So, yeah, but here's the review for the Danglet. So as you guys may or may not know, the Danglet is a strap or lanyard apparatus for your iDevice, whether it be an iPod Touch, an iPod Nano, or any iPod, any iDevice that uses a standard 30-pin dock adapter. And the Danglet itself is this small piece. It attaches to the dock connector of your iDevice, like my first generation iPod Touch here. And you press it in until it clicks, and then it's held securely. Now you'll notice here there's a hole, and the hole here is for putting these uh, two, one of two different clip uh, stra straps onto the danglet. And obviously this one is a lot shorter. It's approximately, I believe this is a seven inch strap if I'm checking this correctly. And the other one I believe is a 17 inch strap. So these are both made of uh, braided black nylon and the, they are actually very comfortable. I thought that um, after wearing this for a while and maybe having the device sway back and forth from if I walked or something, that it would get irritating, but it actually doesn't. But I suppose if you have more sensitive skin than I do, then um, it might annoy you or bother you, but it's pretty darn comfortable in my opinion. Uh, the dangle itself is worth uh, $14.99 plus shipping and handling, which is $3.50 for that. So you can do the math to see how much it would cost you. The danglets have a braking strength, so to speak, at 40 pounds, I believe. Uh, in my review unit, Collins America told me that the danglet is designed to keep the eye device like hanging on a strap, but it's supposed to um, keep the dock connector safe as well. So you're wondering if like walking force or jogging force or some other force like circular force, centripetal force or whatever, if that would damage your dock connector, it won't. As long as the danglet stays attached to your device, it won't damage the dock connector. Now after 40 pounds of force are exerted on your iDevice, this thing will break off, but that's a safety feature so that your iDevice is not ruined. Plus you probably shouldn't be exposing your iDevice to 40 pounds of force anyways. But um, yeah, so if you want to just switch off, you can just pinch the little clip here. So I don't know if you can see that, you just pinch it in like that. And then you can slip in the next one and by just pinching in here. I'm not sure if you can see it, and then putting it through the hole, and then like that. Um, a nice fe feature about the danglet is that it uh, has a 360 degree pivotal axis like that. So if you have this maybe around your wrist and you're walking and it just happens to spin, it won't like tangle up your like it won't tangle up the strap like this, and then you don't have to re like unwind it. It just like spins freely. So I thought that was nice. Now, if you guys are kind of wondering, you know, what person would use a lanyard or a strap like this? Um, at first, I kind of had that thought too because I thought that you know it's kind of nerdy if you want to wear your iPod or iPhone or iPod Nano or whatever on your wrist or on your neck that it would look kind of ridiculous. But I actually found quite a good use for the neck lanyard. And uh, since I don't have a phone, I use my iPod Touch to text people. And sometimes if I'm doing something and I'm text texting someone that texts back really quickly, I'll put this around my neck. And then, like as I'm doing my task, like my iPod will just be dangling from my neck, and then I can just pick it up real quick and just text them back. So I don't have to keep reaching to my pocket or reaching over somewhere across the desk for uh, a response to them. So I find like pretty convenient. Another thing is that they have this uh, movable, I don't know what exactly what it's called, but it like pinches the strap so that it's, it stays straight and organized. Um, from experience, you don't want to try to slip this out all the way past like that so that it comes out because if you do what I did by accident and tried to pull it through with tweezers, then that will happen. It will start fraying, I guess, because that was my fault. But if you do do this, all you have to do is thread a piece of string through this and throw the two ends of the string through um, 
this little plastic piece and then pull through and then it'll get re-stranded. So, on a scale of 1 to 10 as as far as quality goes, I'd give this a 9 and I'd only, I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 because um, the, the dangle itself, even though it feels uh, it feels sturdy. I mean, it it promises its uh, sturdy structure and that it protects the dot connector, but it still has a cheap plasticky feel. So, even though, as you guys saw, I'm pretty um, okay with swinging my iPod around like this. I don't know. I just don't like the fact that it sounds like it's gonna like fall off at any moment, like that clicking sound when the this axis turns. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. I'm I'm pretty sure that was an unfair judgment saying 9 out of 10. It's probably closer to 9.7 like out of 10. But this is a really good product. It's pretty darn cheap. It's pretty helpful, at least for me. So depending on the type of person you are, how you use your iDevice, this uh, apparatus might be good for you. So again, this is the review for the Danglet by Collins America. Again, thanks so much uh, to them for giving this review product for me free of charge. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. See you later.